Imagine a busy restaurant. In one scenario, every customer gets their own waiter, who then stands idle while the food boils or fries. In another, few skilled waiters handle multiple tables, efficiently taking orders, serving food, and clearing tables. This is essentially the difference between traditional web servers and Nginx. Traditional web servers operate on a one request per thread or process model, where each incoming request is assigned its own dedicated thread or process. This approach suffers from inherent inefficiencies. Firstly, threads or processes often spend significant time waiting for I.O. operations, like network requests or disk reads and writes to complete, effectively idling during these periods. Secondly, the continuous creation and destruction of threads and processes for each new request incurs significant overhead, consuming valuable system resources like CPU and memory. Nginx, in contrast, adopts an event-driven architecture. These workers operate asynchronously, meaning they don't block while waiting for I.O. Instead, they proceed to handle other requests, returning to the pending I.O. operation when it completes. This approach minimizes idle time, reduces resource consumption, and significantly improves overall performance. Let's create an Nginx server for our basic Flask application. First, We'll start with a Docker file. We're using the Unicorn server to run the application on port 5000. Next, we will define the Nginx configuration. I'll set the number of workers to auto, meaning the server will automatically assign the total number of CPU cores as the number of workers. We will also set the maximum number of connections per worker to 1024. The server will run on port 80 and proxy the app server, which runs on port 5000. With all these settings in place, we need to run both Nginx and the app. To do this, we will use Docker Compose to define both the app and the Nginx server. Now, we can start all the servers using Docker Compose command. Congratulations, your app is now running. You can also scale the app using the scale option. The Nginx server will act as our load balancer and distribute requests across the processes. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this useful.